So this lab is about simulating or mimicking or recreating a earthquake in the lab. So earthquakes, to, to recap, you have the depth of the focus where the earthquake actually happens along the fault line, along the fracture, the epicenter, which is where the focus is on the surface, and the movement of the plates either side. So we're going to recreate this earthquake using simple materials. We have a rock that's going to be placed on top of a wooden block. The wooden block is attached by string via a paper clip and elastic band, which is very important, to string. And you're going to pull it along this flat wooden plank. And the wooden plank has sandpaper that's taped on top. So the wooden block is dragged along this sandpaper, which gives natural resistance to the motion of moving the block. So you're going to add friction to this experiment, which is important in earthquakes. And we're going to observe what happens as the block is pulled along this sandpaper track from a starting point to the end. And this is measured in centimeters along the block. So as we pull the block along the sandpaper, you'll see that the rock and the weight of the block adds weight and mass and causes lots of friction. And the block is very jumpy. It's not consistent. It moves and it stops. It moves and stops. This is due to the elastic band and the elastic deformation and the stress applied from pulling the block along the sandpaper and the friction. So this lab experiment is going to mimic an earthquake because you have the same components here on the lab table as you do inside the crust where an earthquake actually happens. So when you have an earthquake, you have a fault line. You have a fracture that has movement, and either side it's moving, or one side's moving. So the point where the two parts of the rock, the two sides of the rock meet, you get the friction, which is shown here between the block and the rock pushing down on the sandpaper, creating friction. And this friction is very strong in some cases. And there is a battle between the friction and the stress or force of the person actually pulling the block along the, the sandpaper, which again is like in an earthquake where you have the convection currents that are constantly moving the rock in a certain direction, creating stress, either tensional, compressional, or shear stress on the rock, which is going to move the rock either side of the fault line, thus creating the friction and the balance between friction and stress. Now, when the stress wins and overcomes the friction, the block's going to move forward or jump forward, and this is called slip or displacement, where the rock moves forward and releases the energy, thus creating an earthquake. So slow motion, you hear the friction and the balance and the stress and the movement of the block across the, the track, and it jumps forward, causing the rock to fall, and this simulates a strong earthquake with the surface experiencing a lot of shaking. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. If you like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on earth science.